Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I want to share with you guys my actual skincare routine. Now, you guys probably know I go through a lot of products to review and I don't use them on rotation constantly in my actual routine because I like to keep my routine relatively stable. I want to keep it to the same products for at least two, three weeks so I can see if the effects work. So that's how the review process works. I usually have a stable routine of what I use and incorporate one or two new things in there. So it's for review purposes. But I never actually shared what I use constantly in that routine, so I thought it would be fun to share with you guys what I currently have on my vanity in my bathroom and yeah, just share with you guys some goodies and products I love. There is a lot here today. I didn't know I used that many products until I was gathering everything for this video, but let's get into it and talk about first my AM routine. So from previous skincare videos, you guys might have gathered that in the morning, I don't like to cleanse my face. I find that my face is fine in the morning just because I have so many goodies in the past and just washing my face is fine. I don't really feel necessary to cleanse in the morning. So I just jump straight into using some water and rubbing my skin and calling it a day. But sometimes when I do feel that I had a lot of, you know, like makeup or I feel like my skincare was a bit heavy the evening before, I do like to go in with a toner pad. And um, the two that I really love are the one from Abib, the Heartleaf, uh, what is this? Heartleaf Spot Pad. I really enjoy this. This is a bit of a harder pad. I want to show you guys, but I don't want the waters to leak out. But here it is. This is what it looks like. So it's smooth on one side and it's more textured on the other. So the texture side, it's more for physical exfoliation. But the smooth side, I like to just put it on my face, like have two, one on each cheek. Let it really soak in and then cleanse it and get all the juices and toner rubbing onto my skin and call it a day and also go down a neck hand whatever just to use up all the essence but another one i really enjoy is from needly i won't open this one just because there's so much juice left in it it's massive it is probably covers up my face it's probably this big and i like to just put it on my forehead again let it soak and then rub it gently on my skin this one's a bit softer this is more like a normal cotton pad texture whereas this one's just a tad harder but that is something i do in the morning and um, if I'm running low on time as well. However, usually I just go straight into my toner and freshen up my look. I choose between one of these because they're great antioxidants. This one's the I'm from Mugwort Essence. Again, running very low on it. Uh, I use this quite a bit. It's a thicker texture. It's more like a jelly consistency, I would say. Let me show you guys. So this is what the essence looks like. It's a bit thicker than normal toner, but I really enjoy this just because it does give my skin a great antioxidant boost. It really helps with the sunscreen and vitamin C that I put on afterwards. This one's a bit more like watery, I guess the more normal toning, toner consistency. Yeah, there it is. And yeah, I've been using this one quite a bit as well. This is the Beauty of Joseon Ginseng Essence Water. This one's really, really good. I love this one as well, but I'm focusing on getting this one finished and making it an empty. I'm really obsessed with just emptying out my products, panning my makeup and using what I have. I think that is something that I need to work on a little bit more. And it's a note for you guys, if you have products, use it. Don't let it sit and just get to waste. But that's usually what I would do. And then I would follow up with a serum. Now in the morning, my favorite serums are the Ordinary Caffeine Solution with ECG. If you guys have watched my channel for a while now, you know I'm obsessed with this product. I have repurchased this like I don't even know how many times every year when um the ordinary does their sale during november their uh slovember sales i always stock up on the serum because i use it daily it is just great for depuffing the eyes and just making your skin look really really juicy because i have very puffy eyes you can even tell from now i just woke up <laughs> like half an hour ago had some um tea uh, and some breakfast and that's it and my face is still relatively puffy so i really like to use this serum around the eye contours just like that this helps me de-puff and it's amazing it doesn't irritate doesn't peel doesn't do anything it's just awesome and a vitamin c i've been using a lot lately is the goodle vita c dark spot care serum this one is just a really incredible one because First of all, it's a thicker jelly texture. It doesn't really run or slide or anything. It has quite a nice citrus scent to it. I actually really enjoy some slight fragrance. 
sometimes in my skincare because it doesn't really irritate me. Uh, this one particularly, some fragrances do, but this one's fine. This one's just absolutely awesome. You guys can probably remember I have this like little spot on my cheek here and I feel like once I've used this product a little bit more, it's reducing. It's like a pimple scar that got left, which is a bit annoying. Usually pimple scars take a good three months to disappear, but this one's already toning down a little bit more, which I really enjoy. So that's something I love lately. And if I don't have time for a like full routine, I usually go in with a Hamish Hydrogel eye patch. So this is, as I suggest, it is an eye patch. It's one of those like half yin yang shapes, so I like to call it. And I like to just put it on my under eyes and carry out with the rest of my morning. So my breakfast, whatever. And once I take it off, it will be deep puffed and feels really cooling. So this is one that I really like. This is from Hamish. And now to top everything up in the morning, I do like to use a sunscreen. I don't use a moisturizer in the morning. I just go straight into SPF. And the two I've been using a lot lately are the Benton Air Fit UV Defense Sunscreen and the Isn't Tree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. This one's such a great one because, okay, I think this is more like something I made up for it, but it is a little bit green. If you can see, it has like this aloe leaf situation. And because it's green in my head, I'm like, green cancels out red. So it hel helps with my redness and everything. To be fair, it's like transparent. It doesn't really do anything for color correction, but it makes me feel like it does. So that's important too. And this is the Isn't Tree um, sunscreen. This one's quite viral and hyped up. So what this is, is essentially a super, super watery gel consistency. You can see that it just melts into your skin. It has, again, zero white cast. It's just absolutely amazing. Gives your skin a beautiful glow as well. And no fragrance. Both of them, no fragrance. They're really amazing. And I love these two sunscreens. Highly recommend. This one's not talked about enough. This one is very viral and definitely worth the hype. So highly recommend these. But that is it for my morning routine. Now for my evening routine, it's a little bit more different with the steps. So first I like to talk about my double cleansing routine. I do like to double cleanse in the evening because I do wear quite a bit of makeup and you saw some sunscreen and just quite a bit of stuff on my face from a day of going out and just living. But these are some products I love for my double cleanse. First of all, this is one of the best cleansing oils I have ever used. It is just this really soft texture it removes your makeup and it doesn't make the skin feel like it's been stripped of the oils this is a haru haru wonder black rice moisture deep cleansing oil and i'm literally up to here like i don't know if you can see in the camera it's like very empty i've been saving it just for this video because i realized i was using too much of it i need to stop because i said i need to show people how awesome this product is it is just one of those products that i don't know it just does its job and there's nothing wrong with it there's no fragrance there's no like harsh ingredients it just works so so well uh, let me actually show you with some makeup okay so i just got my charlotte tilbury uh pillow talk dreams eyeshadow palette this is a very pigmented and beautiful eyeshadow by the way let's just put it onto my hand here it is smudge it quite a bit and we'll do a smidge of the cleansing oil and look at that it just breaks it down instantly there's just something so wonderful about it it's very gentle it's very calming and it just helps the makeup melt away. It's absolutely incredible. I'm going to go wash this off my hands and we can see how beautiful it is. Can we see how my hand is absolutely clean canvas again? It feels so soft. I just really like this cleansing oil. It's amazing. It's also vegan. Um, so I just love this product. Definitely recommend Hara Hara Wanda. A very all-round brand. There's nothing from the brand that you won't like. I also really, really enjoy their toner, which I'll mention later. But yeah. I love this for my first cleanse. And for my second cleanse, I've just been using a very stable product. This is the Make Prem Low Irritant and Mild Acid Foam pH 5.5. It's just a very, I guess, daily and standard cleanser. I don't think there's anything super special about it, but at the same time, it's really good. It doesn't irritate me and it just removes my makeup and whatever's remnant, like, 
stuff in my face, in my pores, etc. I just really like it. I have been abusing this quite a bit, but I do like this as well. I think Make Prem is another one of those brands. You can't really go wrong. They just have such standard and safe ingredients to play with. I also really like the sunscreens. Those are amazing as well. So yeah, I really enjoy this one. And another thing I do is sometimes where I... <laughs> I must admit, I don't double cleanse every single day. It's it's bad. But some days when I'm at home, I really just don't do anything except for watch some YouTube videos or movie on my laptop. I don't even wear sunscreen. I know, I know, I know. I should probably wear sunscreen every day, but there are days when I'm lazy. And for those days, I... Or like days where I don't go and wear too much makeup. I just wear some slight um, skincare. I like to go in with my salicylic acid cleanser from COSRX. This is the daily gentle cleanser and that's when days I don't do a rigorous like three pumps of oil cleanser. I just do one and then I go in with my salicylic acid cleanser. This is product I feel like I've been gatekeeping. It's just so good. Every time I have an irritated skin I like to use this and with blemish areas such as this you know pimple scar here I use this and I can feel it just helping my skin feel a lot safer it just feels like it's more nourished and it just helps with getting rid of all of the i guess bad places on my skin it's just such a great product really amazing price as well and it lasts you a long time this has 150 mils i have been using it for a year and i'm starting to get it down to here it's just a really good product Honestly, COSRX is one of those brands where I feel like you can't go wrong with them. They're just so good. Next up, I talked about this earlier, but I like to use a toner just to really rehydrate my skin after cleansing and all that jazz. And Haru Haru Wonder again, this is the Black Rice Hyaluronic Toner. And it is alcohol and fragrance free as well as being, I think it's vegan as well. Oh, they don't have that sign, but it's a really, really standard toner. Again, I've used up quite a bit of it. I just like to... Put some onto my hands and then pat it into the skin can we see it's a very thin gel like texture and then just melt into your skin really helps to rehydrate and i just find this to be a really stand toner no fragrance like i mentioned earlier and it's just really nice i feel like it pairs well with whatever i put on later or before it's just a really standard toner to really rehydrate your skin Next up, I like to go in with another serum and two I've been loving lately is, first of all, this is the, I have no idea how you pronounce it, I Soy uh, Blemish Care Up Serum. This is filled with rosehip oil and rose essence, which is again to help with, you know, clearing texture, pigmentation and all that jazz. Truth be told, I did get this because I saw IU, um, a really famous idol from Korea, using it and endorsing it and a lot of great reviews online. So I've been using it. I don't think there's a very big difference in my skin, but I do like how thin the texture is and it just melts into my skin. Again, it's this gel-like consistency. It doesn't really run and you can just spread it onto your skin like that. It gives a very watery finish. But one thing I don't like about this is because it has so much rose hip oil. If you guys have used rose hip in the past, you know, it has a very, like, I wouldn't say signature set. It just has a very strong standout scent to it for some reason it reminds me of tomato sauce yeah just that scent it's quite strong it's it's an acquired taste but i don't hate the serum i just don't find it super special but i do use it because i'm up to here and already i'm going to finish it up i spent money on it i'm gonna use it and something else i love is this COSRX advanced snail 96 mucin this is a really good one for retaining moisture into your skin if you guys saw me use this in the past i have repurchased it i have two i like to just use this all over the skin after my serum to seal it all in and it just helps to make my face feel more plump. It is a very interesting texture, as you would expect from something with snail in the title. It's a gel texture, but it does pull and it does have strings to it. You can see it does get a little bit sticky. Almost feels like, you know, when you were a child, you play with glue sticks and it has those stringy bits. But once you massage it into your skin, the stringy bits disappear and it's just this really hydrating serum. So I love using that. And to seal everything in, 
I like to use a moisturizer in the evening. I don't like to use um, sunscreen. There's no point. So I've been using the mushroom collagen cream from I'm From. I really like this one. It's just a very standard cream. I've made quite a few dents in it. If you saw from my ranking everything from I'm From video, I did give this one good praise because I think it's a very standard cream. It helps seal everything in and I enjoy using it. Now that concludes my PM routine. But before I go, I want to actually mention a few other products I use quite regularly, but they don't really fit into either routines. They're just there, but related to skincare. So let's start off first with lips. I do love my lip balms, especially now in the winter time. My lips get super dry and I use this in the morning and at night. So two I use in rotation. The first one is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I got this in the mini because honestly, a little goes a long way. And this is just such a hydrating formula. I just like to put it on my lips. I don't like to use it as a sleeping mask, just as a lip balm and it's fine. And another one is the Chorus Lip Butter. This is in the shade or like flavor mango and it is tinted. It's this beautiful orange. I have it on my lips right now. Let me just apply a little bit more. So here it is. And look at that. Really beautiful and juicy. I like to use this in the morning just because I can then put whatever remnants on my finger on my cheeks and it looks like it's a natural blush. I really like that look. And yeah, these are two lip products I've been loving a lot. I use this both. And um, something else as well I want to mention is every once in a while I do like to use a mask. I won't mention my sheet masks because for those I usually buy one or two just to try out so I never really repeat it but two masks I do have on repeat in my skincare routine are these two. First is the Isentry Real Mugwood Clay Mask. Um, I've used quite a bit of this and this is a mask I use whenever I feel like I have a really oily skin day or just my skin having feeling quite irritated and I want to give it a cleanse. I like to use this on my t-zone chin and just let it sit and dry for a while and then wash away with water. I feel like my skin feels a lot more refreshed that way and it gets rid of all the oily bits and pieces in my skin as well. It does have some mugwort leaf in it so it almost acts like a physical exfoliant when you wash it away. So I like to use this, um, I would say usually once a week during the summertime when my skin is extra oily but now in the winter probably once a month. I don't use it a lot but I do enjoy it tons when I use it. And something I've been loving more now is the I'm From Honey Mask. This is just a really rich and hydrating mask. And what it is, is again, if you watch my video on ranking every product from I'm From, I like to just lather this on my skin everywhere and let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes and then wash away with warm water. It just feels more plump and hydrated. My skin just feels really, really good. And I use this when I have kind of damage my skin barrier. I just went a bit crazy with testing new products and this just helps to restore it. And it's such a pampering experience. Really love it. Nowadays, because it's winter, I use this about once a week. I think that's enough because it's just so richly moisturizing and hydrating. Um, in the summer, I barely use this. So if I do want to use it, maybe I can do a combination of the mud mask or clay mask on the center and then the honey mask on the perimeters. But yeah, these are some products I've been loving. They're just great for a cleanse, a deep cleanse and resetting of the skin. I do also want to give a shout out to these two hand creams that I've been loving a lot. The first one is the COSRX Comfort Ceramide Hand Cream Intense. This is awesome. This is almost done. I've been really just squeezing every inch out. This has a beautiful citrus scent to it as well, which I really enjoy. It's just really nourishing for my skin and my hands. I get really dry cracked hands, so putting this on really helps me. Um, and another one I've been using quite a bit lately is from Sky Bottle. This is the Blue Argave fragrance-free hand cream, literally fragrance-free. And I love using this before I go out because when you put a little bit of hand cream on your hands, wrists, whatever, and then spray perfume on it, it lasts longer. So there's a life hack because this has no scent to it whatsoever. It just projects and elongates the longevity of your perfume. So I really like this one lately. And yeah, probably will be using this one a lot because this one is basically empty. 
And last but not least, I want to give a little shout out to the Derma Beast Sera MD Repair Lotion. This is massive, by the way. And I like to use this just as an all over lotion, especially on my legs. It gets really dry, cracked, and some bug bites situations. So I like to use this just to really moisturize and hydrate the skin so everything feels loved, not just my face and neck. Alright guys, that concludes today's video of my skincare routine currently and a little bit of some body care stuff as well. Let me know if you want a de like in-depth video, like detailed on my body care routine because I start to have one forming, I feel like. Uh, but let me know and that's it for today's video. Let me know what caught your eye out of all these products and if you want to try any of them yourself. But aside from that, that is it for today. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up or even subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys for the next one. Mm-hmm.